All right, geeks, today we're looking at the RestPro All-Terrain Sports Face Mask. Uh, I got this because I have really bad pollen allergies, and pollen's been really bad in the southeast this year, and I haven't been able to run outside much. I've probably run outside maybe two or three times, and I really like running outside. I know this site is for geeks, but geeks need to stay in shape too, because if you're not alive and healthy, you can't enjoy all your toys and gadgets. So I bought this mask. I'm going to unbox it right now, and then I'm going to go for a run and let you know how it works. And I know that uh, one run isn't a great sample, but for me, I'll be able to let you know because normally after one run with the pollen outside, uh, breathing with my mouth wide open, I'll be coughing within 30 minutes. So I'm gonna wear this today on my run, and if I come back and I'm not coughing after about an hour, I'm gonna come, well, whether I'm coughing or not, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna let you know if this mask is worth it. And I'm gonna give it a 90 day test, and I'll come back after 90 days and let you know if my opinion has changed or not. All right, so you ready, geeks? Let's go get healthy. All right, so let's take a look at what we got in the box here. Nice packaging. Now, if you're not familiar with this brand, they are one of the leaders in running masks. And when I say running masks, not training masks, but basically running masks for um, pollens and other allergens. And if I remember correctly, they actually make a military grade one that's used in the military all over the world. Uh, it's a European company, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this box is well packaged. I'm going to have to rip it open. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's glued. Okay. So, i going to rip it open here. Where is Wanda? I couldn't find Wanda. I found her stepsister. But she'll have to do. Don't want to accidentally cut the mask. I've done that before opening packages where I get a little overzealous and end up cutting the product within. Don't want that to happen today. All right, their YouTube and their Twitter and such. It's nice packaging, so. Let's see, what is pollution? Okay, it's nice. They give you a little rundown of what the mask is for, how to use it, here are the instructions of how to put it on. You got a little carrying bag, which is good if you want to take it with you so it's not bouncing around your bag getting dirty. And you've got your one sleeve. Now, that yeah, this looks a lot like my training mask, but you can tell it's respiratory. I like this, feels really good. All right, so that's what's in the box. Nothing more to show you. I'm gonna go for my run and when I come back, I'll let you know what I think. So you'll be able to tell in the video if I'm coughing and hacking a lung up. But if not, and I'm not, I sound good, I'm not sniffling, you'll know that it's a go. All right, geeks, we'll be back in a minute. All right, so I'm getting ready to go for a run. Got the mask, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here. Now, what's one of the things that's nice about this mask is it uses a Velcro strap. Um, a lot of the other masks in the market have snaps or um, the slots like a watch, so you don't get an exact fit. With this, you have the Velcro, so you can adjust it the exact fit that is comfortable for you. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead, give it a try out, let you know what I think. Okay, I'm back, I did the run. 
Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I'm back, I did the run. Um, it is 1.46 p.m., uh, Atlanta, Georgia, so you can get an idea of uh, sun position. It's 94 degrees, I think. So I got out and got back in. So the mask, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, probably 99% sure that I won't need to do an update for this. Um, as I said, usually when I run outside, within an hour, because of the pollen I'll have, coughing and wheezing and scratchy feeling in my throat. Usually when I come back in within the first minute or two, even approaching the house, uh, if I do two to three miles, I'll feel the tickle in my throat. So I know it's coming. Um, I feel nothing right now. And when I say nothing, I mean <laughs> nothing. So it worked today and I'm confident it'll work every other day. I don't know why it wouldn't. So as far as keeping out the pollen, it works. My subdivision is heavy in pollen. We have trees and flowers everywhere. So the pollen level here is ridiculous and everything's in full bloom. Every house has at least two or three huge trees in the front just spitting out pollen, just like pollen orgasms. So trust me when I say this is a good test. I also have a trail that I run uh, near my house that is fully treed out. So I'm gonna try and run that next week. Uh, if I do, I'll give it up down the mask, see how it holds up over there. Okay, so now as far as comfort, when I put the mask on uh, before I ran, I turned around for the camera and I showed you the back of my head. Uh, I had strapped it wrong. I had it strapped up here. That's not where you strap it unless you have the support hooks that go over the top of your head, which I don't have. You actually strap it below your ears around your neck. Um, and I'm sorry about that because I didn't realize till afterwards when I was about to run that didn't feel comfortable. So I Googled it and I realized that uh, it goes down lower. Once I put it on my neck, it felt fine. It didn't move when I was running. Uh, I saw one review online that said that uh, it left a gap. Maybe they bought the wrong size mask because the size fittings on the Amazon store where I bought it, it was really vague. So I kind of guessed, but I got the right one because it fits securely. Um, it was kind of tough to even get my finger in there. So it was great because I had an itch and I wanted to scratch it. Couldn't get my finger in. Um, the breathing. So if you've ever worn a training mask, it feels similar to that, but the restriction is nowhere near as tough. as uh, it's. After a while, it seemed non-existent. Sorry, non-existent. When I first started running, uh, it felt good. And then uh, after like the first three or four minutes, it started to feel like, oh, it's kind of tough to breathe. But that, I don't know about you, but when I run, that's how it is even without the mask. I take off, I feel good at first. And after a minute or two, I, that little hump comes in where I just feel like I'm about to die. So always my like minute two and three are tough for me. And then I get in my stride and I go. So that's probably what that was because it was after running for about a minute, all of a sudden it was like, okay, this thing's really restricting my air. And I started wondering if I could actually run with it on. But after another minute or so, I was fine. And um, I'd say after a while, I kind of forgot I had the mask on because I was breathing normally. The great thing was that I, I know it's not good when you're running, but I, I breathe through my mouth sometimes just to keep myself going. But normally when I breathe through my mouth, I'm bringing in all sorts of pollen and my throat gets dry and I start coughing. With this, it was great because I could just open my mouth wide and take a deep breath if I needed to and just keep on running. Um, I hadn't been running for the past few months because I had some health issues. So I just started running again this week. And I don't know if it was a coincidence or not, but I ran today, yesterday, and the day before. And today was my fastest time. And I don't know if it was because it was easier for me to breathe without all the pollen coming in. Because I know usually, when I'm running, I'm focusing on trying to keep my mouth closed and I open it up and my throat, like I said, my throat gets dry. So I'm always distracted. But here, you know, after about three minutes I, or four minutes, I was just kind of lost in my head and running. So um, I'll keep running with it nonstop. And if anything changes, I'll do an update video. If nothing changes, uh, I won't do an update video, but I will do a video for when I run in the trail. So I guess if I have anything to add, I'll do it there, but that'll probably be up in the next uh, two or three weeks. All right, so that's it. The Respro filtration mask. I give it a thumbs up. In my opinion, it's a great mask. Highly recommended and highly rated on Amazon. And my first run through was great. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Even better, spread the word to your friends. I'm going to try to keep the content coming. Anything that geeks are into, including fitness, because geeks need to work out too. We can't just sit around in front of our gadgets and kill ourselves. So anything else you want to see, put it in the comments. And if I can make it happen, I will. Thanks again. See you next video. Geek out.